2017 was the best year of my life. I said that last year about 2016. This year definitely topped it. Let me explain. I have a bucket list. Um, like, so a lot of them are big goals that I want to complete, and none of them really had like a time period when I can complete when I could complete them. But I took off a ton of them this year, so that's that's one reason. Another reason is because I got this guy right here. His name's Baylor. He has almost a thousand followers on Instagram already. His that name's right here. Anyway, let's uh let's get into the story, huh? Three, two, one. We made a commercial for Cadillac and they gave us a seventy thousand dollar car to do it. We shot Adam's new gun. We went to Chicago and we saw the crazy Trump protests that were happening. And then we ate at a super tall restaurant downtown. We stayed at the W Hotel. Never mind. Never mind the and then we went shopping all day. Spider sent me $10,000 worth of product, which is like my favorite brand, so it was pretty incredible. JW Marriott invited us to stay at their hotel in Grand Rapids. They had incredible food, a eucalyptus scented steam room, and an awesome pool. And then the next day we went hammocking in downtown Grand Rapids. Cyber Suites then invited us to stay at their private pool suite. There we had a private swimming pool, a hot tub, a steam room, and just like an awesome suite all around. And then I flew to Vegas. I checked out the mall that had a sky for the ceiling. Then I flew my drone over the city, which was absolutely crazy. swimming next to the shark tank at the Golden Nugget Hotel. Joel and I then went to Gulf Shores with her family. We went to the hangout. What's it, Brian? And then we got up at 3 in the morning and went to the airport and flew to Key West to see my family. Our flight got delayed for like 8 hours, so I took a shower at the airport and hung out in the Sky Club. Hi. And then we finally got on the plane and arrived in Key West. The next day we went scuba diving, something that my dad and I have always wanted to do. It was definitely a bucket list item. every day and then me and Jewel switched hotels and we got to stay at a really really cool jungle style hotel so we went home I got a Rolex another bucket list item Jewel and I took a day trip to the Mall of America which was way bigger than I expected and then later that week, I flew to Florida to hang out with Adam. We went to Hooters, we went to the beach, and we got hit by a crazy storm. The next day, I flew back to Detroit, and Jewel flew from Lansing to Detroit, and we met up to fly to Pennsylvania together. Later on, I helped my mom and dad check off another bucket list item. And then, shortly after that, we did something that has always been on our bucket list. We went to Europe, without any pre-planned destinations or even knowing when we would come back. We didn't just fly to Europe. We flew in a $14,000 business class seat. Shots. Yeah. 
And that's another bucket list item I was able to check off. It was incredible. We landed in Munich, Germany, where we rented a Fiat 500. We explored a palace, checked out the BMW world, went 170 kilometers on the Autobahn. And then later that day, we were off to Rome. We landed at night, but the next day, we went downtown and saw some of the famous landmarks. But our favorite was definitely the Colosseum. Once again, another bucket list item I never thought I would complete. We checked out the ice bar, and the next day we were off to go to what we thought was our favorite place on earth. And waking up the next morning in Santorini in this villa only confirmed that. I went cliff diving. snorkeling and of course we had to do just about the most iconic thing you can do in Santorini is take a picture in the infinity pool once again another awesome bucket list item tell me what you go then we went to see the Blue Castle, probably the most famous Instagram landmark. And sadly we had to leave, but we were headed to Paris, where we got to see the Eiffel Tower sparkle at night. We went shopping, and I flew my drone of course, here's what that looked like. After a few days of shopping and eating way too much chocolate and pizza, we were off to Iceland for an adventure. We explored waterfalls. I checked out the plane wreckage on the black sand beach. And then we went to the world famous Blue Lagoon, and that was incredible. Once again, we were sad to leave such a beautiful place, but we were very excited to be home because we hadn't been home in a few weeks. We flew from Keflavik Airport to Boston. We finally made it back to Detroit where our parents were there to pick us up. Later on, we got our first apartment, and shortly after moving in, we were off to LA again for a week to go to the Emmys. We went to an Emmys award party gifting suite, and then we left and I got to go on the red carpet. Then the next three days, I spent diving in Laguna Beach, relaxing in Newport Beach, and eating some awesome food in Huntington Beach. And then we finally headed home. To finish off the year, I flew from Lansing to Detroit to see family. I have no idea why. And then I flew to Chicago to expedite a Chinese visa because I will be heading to mainland China and Hong Kong in early 2018. Then I went to Windsor, Canada with Josh and Ryan. My first time in Canada and my sixth country besides the United States that I've been to. And that pretty much finalizes the year. The main reason I made these videos is because I really want to inspire you to follow your dreams, follow the bucket list items that you want to complete in your lifetime and don't assume that you can't do it just because it's too expensive or it seems too far faster, especially because somebody told you not to. That is the number one thing that drives me more than anything. I don't think you see it. It's freezing cold outside. I don't think you see my breath, but it's freezing cold. It's my balcony. This is where Baylor goes poop. It's a uh, fake thing. I'm wearing Gucci flip-flops. Don't even ask me why I have Gucci flip-flops. And there he is, he wants to come outside. But the main reason, again, I made this video is I just want to, I want to inspire everybody. Follow your dreams. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. And if they do tell you you can't do something, just prove them wrong. I had people tell me all the time, when I, when I used to tell people, I think it was like ninth grade, I was like, I'm gonna get a Camaro. You know, like when I am able to drive, I'm gonna get a Camaro. 
and as stupid as that may sound, um, like I did it, and then I, <laughs> like, that was one thing that people told me all the time, oh, you're not gonna be able to do it, and I did it, and I'm very proud of that, and that's just the start. Like, this is, that's the best part about making these videos, is that I get to look back in like three years from now, and watch these videos and see, wow, like, I've really done something. Like, even just from last year, I've accomplished so much more. It's freezing cold, I'm gonna go back. This year, I encourage you to be different, follow your dreams, do what you wanna do. It's your life, you only get one of them. Thank you to everybody that supports me. Thank you to my family, Jewel, my friends. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next time.